Hi, welcome to this SSRS tutorial video and today I'm going to show you how you can change your results to highlight and identify a particular um, parts of text that it gets returned to screen. So let's imagine you've got a report where you can do a search for part of a particular name and so when you run your report it's going to filter based on the, the text that you put in a filter. But I want the report to actually highlight and colour in the portion of the um, of the name that matches the filter. So let me just try and um, let me just rather than trying to explain it, let me um, show you how we do it. So on screen, I've got a report that basically just returns people's names. Um, I'm going to add a filter now so that we can filter and find only where a particular string exists in maybe the first name or the last name. So let us come to here. Let's go to the data set. And we're going to put um, where first name, and we need to build a like statement here. So we're gonna do like, um, and I've done this previously on a different uh, different video, but what, what you do is when, you, when you're building this like statement, you need to, in SQL, you need to um, include these percent signs, which are wildcards. So I'm going to say where a particular bit of text exists anywhere within my string, my first name. So I'm going to add a, um, maybe I'll add a parameter called filter and we'll do this. So um, now if I refresh my field, it should create me a parameter because I've put this little um, hold on a sec. That's better. So now I've got this um, parameter called filter. So now when I run my report, we should have this filter parameter. And if I put bin and I search, it filters based on the first name having the word bin. Yeah. So if I just go back to my data set here and I'm going to use that same parameter here and I'm going to say or um, last name like and I want to use the same logic. So what I'm doing here is I'm building my SQL to say the first name is like and then the wildcard either side of my filter parameter and that um, basically in the example I've just shown will say where first name like um, percent bin percent or last name like percent bin percent refresh my fields although I don't need to um preview it again and I'll put bin and I'll run it and we're now getting these here because I've got Robinson Robinette so they've got bin in here as you can see and we're getting there's bin Alvarez is there but it's Robin so you can see how um the report's working but what i want to do is i want to highlight the bin i want to highlight the 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 filter part here within my results so in order to do that right now this is just a basic table in order to do that we need to slightly change the columns that we want to um manipulate that we want to change in order to um color them in so what i'm going to do here is I'm going to delete the entry that's in there and we now right click in the field and um, so it's the first name field and the last name fields are the things I'm interested in they're the ones that I want to color in so in here I'm going to um, go to insert and oh no hold on sorry I do apologize double click in the field so you've got a cursor flashing now you right click and choose create placeholder now within the create placeholder here, um, we've got this option now here that says HTML, interpret HTML tags. And we're going to um, change our SQL in a minute to include these HTML tags. So I'm gonna click on the, uh, the radio button for HTML tags. Now in the value, I want my value to be uh, a field in my data set, which is my first name. Click okay, click okay. And if I preview that, we shouldn't immediately see any difference. Okay. Um, in fact, if I go to the Robins, there's no um, 
there's no note there's no difference yet we haven't done there's still another step that we need to do so now that we put the placeholder in and we've told the placeholder to accept html we now need to go back to our sql and we need to change this um value to be to include html tags now um i've copied this and i will put this in the um in the description of this video but if we just look at this line here this is sql again um, the same as this bit down here obviously it's sql but the the the, the way we're building this is using um a sql function called replace and replace will look at a particular piece of text and replace part of that with something else so in this case i'm saying okay look at the first name and i want you to replace filter which is the parameter which is the example i've been doing is bin so i want you to find anything that says bin and i want you to replace that with this here and this is html so you've got um font color equals red then i've got my filter in um with these little plus marks here which i concatenate and then i've got um a closing font here with the forward slash and what that does is it will take bin in this example and it will wrap bin uh, with this at the beginning and this at the end and that when it's interpreted by html will make the value within it red in this case yeah so now if i um, click ok and if i rerun this now and we put bin in and we go to one of the examples in the first name you can see now that bin is being highlighted in red. Now let's do the same thing with the last name. So if I click on last name, delete it, double click in the field, right click, create placeholder, select the HTML radio button, choose the field that we want, which is the last name. And then remember we need to modify the SQL. So I'm just for speed, I'm just going to um, copy what I've already got and I'm just going to replace the reference to first name to be last name really copy and paste isn't the best thing but um, last name filter 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 that looks okay so let's move on that and bin and there we are um, I don't know but and there you can see um, so it doesn't matter whether it's at the start the end in the middle anywhere where this filter this text here appears you're going to see it in the results. Uh, I hope that made sense. I hope you found it helpful. Thanks very much for your time. See you next time.